Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So when we left off, we flipped the world upside down. We are now upside down. We are walking on this precarious pathway that if we fall down, we're going to fall into the heavens. Very strange. I'm just trying to find that stupid, that stupid thing that I want to see. There it is. All my magic is pretty much gone. Great. My last shot and I biffed it, guys. I biffed it hard. Okay. Um, maybe. Ooh, magic. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> at least all the dragonflies also fell out of the sky, I think. So, let's stand right here. This is obviously... If we ever want to come back to the temple and fight the boss, that's what that little platform is for. We're gonna try. <laughs> I got it right there. First shot, first shot. And we got ourselves a little bit of treasure. A little bit of treasure. Go ahead, open this boy up. We found our seventh straight fairy. Um, we are gonna be one fairy short because I couldn't do that stupid rolly puzzle in the lava it was very difficult and i was getting so frustrated and i was crying every so many tears uh i thought we already unlocked all these doors i guess not maybe if we shoot the sunstone with a light arrow oh that's cheating that's cheating no way no way that works all right let's go we're back in the mirror room but this time with seeds and blasting um, looks like we could fall down here and that would be fine because there's at least a floor beneath us. Oh, there we go. That's what I meant to do this whole time, okay. Press down this button. And the fire room is now Dunzo's. So it seems like I need to put a little creepy bobblehead on this uh, platform here to get it to work again. We're gonna go play the eulogy of emptiness. This is the song I sing myself to sleep with every night when I'm having anxiety and depression attacks. Uh, you just play an elegy of emptiness and then you remember that you don't have any feelings to hurt anyways. No heart. Right? No? Just me? Yeah, I don't do that either. You guys are silly. Um, alright. We're gonna jump into this one. We're gonna try our best to make it over here. Ooh. And then we are gonna go. Oh my lanta, my god! He just died. He just, as if it's not my own character. Dead. Real dead. Okay. Down. Don't get hit by any more spiky bombs. And we're gonna open up this treasure chest. And we got ourselves our eighth straight fairy. Good job, team. Good job. Uh, we don't have any keys to get over there, um, so, gosh, bro, okay, I'm gonna take this guy, uh, why is he walking like that? Are we not supposed to be doing that like that? Oh, there's a little something for us to shoot over there. Okay, well, we're just gonna go through this door, because that was confusing me. Oh, this is the door that we came through. Uh, never mind then. <laughs> It's obviously confusing me, right? All right, let's fly over here and hopefully we can make it. Ha ha, we made it that time. So the trick is you don't dive into the flowers. That way you have longer to uh, get over there. From here, we're going to make our way over to this air vent. We're gonna hurt ourselves on our way over to this air, air vent. Um, let's go ahead and land here where it's safe. Take off our Deku mask. And then we're going to do the same thing that we learned how to do on the other one, which is um, <laughs> take off its mask and then attack it. And we'll just progress through here. Oh, here's that button that was on the ceiling. And 
get, let's use her eulogy of Link. Link's eulogy. And uh, get our way to that treasure chest. I wish I could skip this, this part right there. Because it happens every single time. Especially with the tower, I was like, bro, I get it. It's fine. Ooh, we got ourselves a small key. Perfect. There we go. Got the sun. Finally. Finally. Oh. What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm? Nothing? Okay. I guess we're gonna head back up to the top now. Got ourselves some money. Got ourselves a locked door. It's no longer locked. And, um... Oh, uh, let's take this off. Oh, it's lava that's now falling. Oh, I could flip the room upside down. I'm like tilting my head with it. Whoop. And then I can put on my Goron mask and just walk across the, just walk across the lava. That's, that's always an option. I am low on arrow, so hopefully I come across some chests soon. If I miss this arrow shot, I swear to God, <laughs> that would be that would be me in my gameplay. Oh right, easy cake. It was like, all right, you're gonna have to start remembering topsy turvy rooms. Ooh, cool. Uh, another topsy turvy room. I'm gonna flip the room upside down. Oh, I never checked the ceiling. I probably should do that next time before just like uh, you know, haphazardly flipping the room over. So, oh, it actually does need to be at one. I was like, let's lighten it up so that way it's nearly perfect. And then we'll use this arrow to shoot the bug. What is that? A beetle? A scarab? Just a red rupee? And then we're gonna flip it around one more time. Jellies and all. Let's see if the jellies fall. <laughs> Are they gonna fall? No. Well, sheesh. They did after, same time we did, I guess. They don't see me yet. I'm like spamming B, I'm like, don't you get me, don't you get me, you little jelly bellies. You little jelly beans. Okay. Flippy puzzle upside down, finished. Oh, almost. Joke's on me, so that's fine. Oh, let's go through here. Oh no, a wizdrobe, a wizdrobe. Hello, mister. Um, okay, let's get regular arrows. Let's get a bunny hood. Especially because there's lava now falling behind us. What? There's one up there. What the heck? <gasps> Dude, heck that old wizard guy. <laughs> no, but for real, that was like way too difficult for no reason, in my opinion, honestly. Um, so let's go ahead and get out our hook shot. I definitely fell through that like ceiling in the sky, so that was cute. Um, let's hook shot from over here um, onto the treasure chest that he left for us. From here, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna get ourselves a little fairy. Yay, <laughs> straight fairy number 10. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go through here because that's pretty much the only place, only thing we can do. All right, we got a foe. A Poe, it's a small Poe. A small Poe in a jar. You caught a Poe in a bottle. All right, well, <clears throat> looking around, got a couple more Poes over there. We can use our Deku mask to get over there because I don't think those pose are going to show up until we're like on top of it. It's one of those creepy situations where the ceiling is literally, okay. The ceiling is literally the sky. Well, I guess we were done with that room. Mm, where am I supposed to be going to? That thing over there? That can't be right. It's 
go through this door. Seems like a super option. Oh. Okay, it is the dawn of the final day. No pressure or anything. Okay. We are gonna go through here. Oh my gosh. It's a stompy boy. Oh my gosh, and a po' boy. Okay, we just running. We're just running as fast as we can. Oh, this is that first room. Okay. I know where we are. So if I remember correctly, over here, yes, there's a switch. Unfires that. Uh, let's go ahead and do our eulogy of emptiness. Get a little creepy bobblehead link to hold down this button for us. Eulogy, elegy. <laughs> okay, well, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Um, could uh, you open that for me, please? Thanks. We got a small key, which unlocks a small door. Perfect. Um, okay, we're gonna head back into that room that I just, like, panicked. I was like, there's no way. I'm not getting spiked out of the sky. You can't force me to. You can force me to miss every single one of my shots, though, so that's nice of you guys. Oh, that doesn't do anything? Okay. Uh, then let's put on our Deku mask. And we're going to dive into this. And um, ignore the eye clops. The psi, the psi eye clops. We're going to use our flower again to get back over to the other side. Perfect. Amazing. And now we are in this first room that we came in, which is interesting. Stalking back up on everything, we're gonna just walk straight through. This looks like a mini boss. Jesus. Um, we're probably gonna need some light arrows. Probably gonna need the bunny hood. Ooh. His name's Gomez Adam. No, I should have just I should have just done the easy the easy trick. Okay, which is to just kill him. That's the best way to do it. Just always just kill him. It is a lot lighter in this room, so that's good. Um let's go ahead and see if any of these have um hearts in them for me. Perfect. Okay, open it up and we're getting ourselves a boss key. Hey, hey, we got <laughs> Alright, that means we are pretty much done with this this temple the last temple i can't believe it all right let's get out of here all right we got some fairies or not fairies what were <laughs> hearts i was looking at tattle but we're gonna head back into here we're gonna go back into that room that i happened upon um earlier by accident so let's go ahead put on our deku mask fly back over there okay 
we are going to do a little tricky trick, which is to run over there and then put on our stone mask immediately. And then he's gonna be like, I don't see nobody. Uh, let's go ahead and stop on this. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and hook shot onto that. So creepy. Okay. Um, so let's use our key and go through here. And we got another Igor... Cyclops? What's his name? We got another one of these guys. For this same guy? Jesus, except for this time you do shoot. So rude. So rude. No, okay, cool. We got ourselves another fairy and the way forward. Um, go ahead, open this up. You got the giant's mask. With this mask lies the might of a giant, but can you use its power anywhere? I don't know, can I? Let's put it on. Let's put it on, shall we? Well, I guess we shall move forward regardless. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, there's, it's gonna be over there. Um. Sheesh. There we go. I was like, well, I, if I can't jump over it, then what am I supposed to do? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the boss room. Okay. Just go in between all of these, get ourselves all the rupees, all the bombs, all the arrows, top up on everything before we start this boss fight. All right. Well, I don't think there's uh, much more prep that we need to do, so let's just, uh, Go visit the boss. Uh, do you think they would ignore me if I had on my stone mask? Probably not. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch that out for the mask that we got specifically for this dungeon, which is of course the giant's mask. We have one fairy, so that better be good. Oh god. We're in the upside down. <laughs> uh, let me switch over my recording. Oh, it's the giant water moi. Oh, it's two giant masked insect, the twin mold. Oh yeah? Well, two can play at the giant game. Big Daddy's here to play. <laughs> My ultimate fighting technique has begun. There they are. suspected my ultimate attack. The slashy slashy. Big boo, big boo. Oh, there's one more. Obviously, there's two of them. Oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. That was not it. 
was it? No. That was it, guys. That was the last temple boss. What the heck? Um. Okay. Uh, where's my heart piece? Thank you. There it is. It's on the other side. I just couldn't see it. Um, all right. Wow. The boss is done. We beat the boss. Are we anywhere close to the fairies that we needed for that dungeon? Let's take 10 out of 15. I mean, we were pretty close. Not bad, but I'm definitely going to have to do an episode where I just collect all the fairy pieces because it was stressing me out, that rolling one. Anyways, you've seized twin molds remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that kept the dark mask had kept that this dark mask had kept imprisoned with the body of evil twin mold. Well, we just sell saved ourselves a centipede, so that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> well, we've helped all of you. That's all we can do. Call us. That's what they're saying. Without being told, we understand. So now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, all right? What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Forgive your fried eggs. No. <laughs> forgive your friend. Forgive our friend. What do you mean by forgive, huh? What friend? I don't know that person you were hanging out with at the beginning where you guys like got rid of my horse and almost killed me and turned me into a Deku. That friend? <sighs> Tattle forgets so easily. Well, we did it. We got crows already about to mess us up. But the skies are all clear. Get him out of here. Um, alright. That was it. That was the last boss. We freed all the four giants. Good job, team. So, since I have to come back and do the Great Fairy Fountain anyways, and we are on the dawn of the final day, I'm just gonna head back to Clock Town, drop off my rupees, and, uh... And I'm probably going to leave this episode here so that way I can restart time, do that temple again, but collect all the fairies. Um, and then we just have a couple more masks to go before we're completely ready to fight um, Majora. Unless, of course, you guys don't want to see that. In which case, too bad. You can skip ahead until I get to the boss. <laughs> I'm not trying to 100% it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what kind of mood I'm in. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Let's Play series. Um, if you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments down below. Have any tips for fighting um, Majora? Let me know <laughs> what techniques you guys use. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Liking and sharing this video also helps my channel grow by getting my content in front of more people's faces and finally there's a link to all my social media as well as my sticker shop linked in the description and it's also the link below my webcam so until i see you guys again i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye bye